Creating great motion graphics that look epic, tells a story, and something you're proud of does not have to be complicated. We're gonna use shapes, effects, and clever buffoonery to create cinematic motion graphics. So if you want to build your own unique worlds in After Effects, get ready because this is going to be a great lesson. The first step to creating cinematic projects is to create and lay out your design. The beauty of this step is that you can just use simple objects. For example, I'm going to use the ellipse tool to create two very large circles. You can use whatever shape that you want to use. Also, be sure to create a solid layer for your background, that's very important. But don't worry about the colors at the moment, we'll get to that in a second. For now, let's look at some other designs first, so we can explore multiple ideas. So once again here, I have a circle, and I can use the pen tool with stroke enabled to create a straight line, and then create a small circle for the point to create a shooting star. And when you're working with stroke lines, you can adjust the taper settings of the line to make it skinnier. Taking a look at another scene, I added two rectangles to create a doorway. Then I distorted the path of one of the rectangles to create a floor or what could later be a beam of light. If you want to create an arch hallway like this, you can use the rounded rectangle tool to create a large rectangle. Then adjust the roundness of that rectangle to smooth it out. Lastly, you can add a repeater to the shape layer, go into that transform repeater and set the X position to zero, adjust the scale by a touch and change the start opacity. Then increase the number of copies and adjust the offset to position the arches. And if you're following this technique, you may need to adjust the anchor point to center align the arches. For the floor, you can use the pen tool to draw a straight line then set the stroke amount to an incredibly high number, and then adjust the taper of the line to make it seem like there's Z depth. I also added a custom white door at the end of the path with the pen tool. Okay, I just wanted to go through several design ideas that you can create for your scenes, but I really wanted to show that all it takes is simple shapes and you don't really have to overthink anything. But now, the next step is adding gradients and setting your color. With one of our spheres selected, we'll apply the gradient ramp effect from Generate. You can position the gradient points how you see fit, however, I want to use the gradient to light the scene. For example, let's imagine that there's a light source off the screen right around here. I will take the white point and shove it to the corner of our layer, then I will take the black point and place it below. The closer together these points are, the harsher the contrast will be. For the top circle, I'll shade it similar to the previous design, but we'll make that white point darker to create a unique style. For the background, we'll just keep it gray. And now we'll go ahead and look at the hallway scene and the light source could be coming from the door. So I'll set the gradient ramp to a radial ramp on our lines. Then adjust the points to make it seem brighter from the center of our project and then darker around the edges. For this scene, I'm using the CC spotlight effect to create a beam of light to illuminate the shooting star. And for our last scene with the doorway, I'm using the gradient on the floor to showcase the fallout of light. So think about the brightness of your colors in the terms of lighting to make your scenes cinematic. In the next step, we'll actually make everything pop and look magnificent. But first, if you have not already, be sure to get our 100 free motion graphics template pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our Motion Duck extension, you can add graphics instantly into any project. Then easily update the template to your project needs and save hours of time. So whether you need seamless transitions, titles, graphic effects, unique motion graphics, or just creative elements, you can check out everything for your future projects, including our free pack with the link below. So now let's make our scenes actually cinematic with a series of optional effects. Create an adjustment layer and go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and add noise. Set the noise amount between 12 to 24%, and this effect will give you an easy texture effect and add grit to our scenes. Next, apply the glow effect from Stylize to another adjustment layer. Your settings may vary, but the threshold should be 100%. Set the radius to 200 and the intensity to 2. To animate your scene with lighting, all click the stopwatch for glow radius and add the wiggle open parenthesis 5 comma 100 close parenthesis expression. You may need to mess around the settings on your end to get the perfect look. You may even need to duplicate the effect and remove the expression. But moving forward with another adjustment layer, we will add the brightness and contrast effect from color correction. Then just all click the stopwatch for brightness and add the wiggle expression once again. And this will create a flicker effect for your scene. 
Now, if you want to add an artistic touch to your work, apply the posterize effect from stylize and set the level to around nine. And you know, everything is looking pretty cool, but another effect you could use is under time and that effect is called posterize time. And you can set it to nine as well. This effect will give your scene more of a classic stop motion feel because essentially it lowers the frame rate of your composition. And here's what our other scenes look like when we add these series effects. And remember, you can pick and choose what works best for your scenes and feel free to vary any of these settings to form your own look. And with all the concepts used in this tutorial, I was even able to put together like a cool Pac-Man animation because, you know, Pac-Man's pretty cool. And one last tip, an easy way to animate scenes like this is to create a null object and parent all your design layers to it. Then add a scale animation to the null object to create movement. So go out and create your own cinematic projects. And for more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe and always be creating.